So I spent some time tuning my printer. Um, I calibrated the Z height. I just have a regular micro switch. Uh, don't have the auto leveling probe yet. But the printer is running nicely now. And this is my printer bot converted to Hypercube printing at 300 millimeters per second. Yep, this video is not accelerated. This is the actual speed at which it's printing. But come on, this is kind of slow. 300 millimeters per second. Let's crank it up to 200 percent. So yeah, I switched my speed setting, my feed rate to 200 percent of the original setting. Now, I don't want to get carried, too carried away, but how about 250? How about this for a nice little speedy printer? 250% of the original 300 millimeters per second. I don't know if this camera can even keep up with the speed at which the print head is moving. So that's the nice thing of having a smaller footprint printer. Um, because of my X carriage and X gantry in the whole uh, mechanism being smaller than the full-sized Hypercube, there's a lot less weight to move around and so this printer can move a lot faster. Now I don't want you to have to watch through this whole print even though it's only going to take uh, three more minutes but I'll I'll record a video of how this part looks like once printed uh, I've tried several prints already and the, the parts come out just as good as when I print uh, using other printers at 60 millimeters per second so this printer can actually handle this speed Oh, what the heck. Let's try 300%. Music to my ears.
Now this last layer, I think, is just crazy. <laughs> I've never seen a printer move that fast. but it gets faster all right now this is the, uh, the last layer All right, so here's the print that I just made. Um, this is the bottom layer. Nice shiny surface from the glass. A little bit of lifting, uh, but that may be just the filament that I'm using. Uh, this is a new filament that I've never used before. So I'm, st I'm still learning what the optimum settings are for, for this filament. And I just used my usual settings this time and they seem to work fine. So. I use 220 degrees for the uh, extruder for the hot end and 70 degrees for the bed. A little bit of over extrusion on top layer. You see these traces from over, over extrusion. So I may need to adjust that. But other than that, so the, the bottom sections, that's when I started the print originally. This is when I started the print. And then I increased, increased my speed to 200% uh, and then 300% at the end. And really, this looks perfect. Uh, perfect layers, very even, no nosy wobble. Um, looks fantastic. The only thing that I can notice is that there's a little bit of an overshoot on the edges when the print head was moving in this direction because it was moving so fast it would overshoot a little and then back up and then continue down overshoot a little back up and continue down and you can see these little bumps in the direction in which the the print head was was going that's that's really the only complaint i would have about this print i'm trying to hopefully this this is in focus um, i'm trying to uh, keep this in, in focus here but that's that's the only thing that I'd, I would uh, have a problem with um, this over extrusion that's obviously you know just a matter of adjusting the settings but this is just crazy I printed this thing towards the top that was a 300 percent of what I thought was uh, 300 millimeters per second well that's that's the settings that I have in, in my um, setup and I'll talk about it in a, in a minute uh, because I'm trying to understand whether that was really 300 millimeters per second and then at 300% of that. But other than that, I'm really pleased with the results of this print. And this cube is supposed to have 5 millimeter arms. There you go, 5.16. five point one five so pretty much right on the spot again this may be just a little bit of an over extrusion and and uh, maybe a little bit of an overshoot but other than that this is fantastic so this is supposed to be 15 and it's right on the spot and 10 more so 25 yep So I'm, I'm really pleased with how this printer behaves after just a little bit of tuning, uh, adjusting the Z height and playing with the feed rates. It's fantastic.
All right, so maybe someone can help me understand what's going on here. Uh, I'm convinced that I was printing at 300 millimeters per second. This is what my settings are. And so for infill, which is most of the printing, and solid infill, I have set 300 millimeters per second. And also, uh, for max print speed, I have 350 to allow some margin. So this, this is what I'm expecting that the printer is uh, moving at. This is the speed that I expect the printer to be moving at. But when I looked at the G-code for my printer, this is where the last layer started. Uh, right here, this is the first movement, this yellow line right here. And the feed rate is 3,581. I'm guessing this must be in um, millimeters per minute because that's usually how these are expressed but that uh, converted into millimeters per second let's do the math Thir 3581 divided by 60 that turns out to be only um, 60 millimeters per second which no I, I'm pretty sure that that was much faster than that um, but even, even this 60 millimeters per second um, and then at the end I was printing at 300 percent so that's 180 millimeters per second um, I don't have point of reference I've uh, I've never played with these speeds and I haven't seen other printers move at these speeds so I don't know whether that was truly 300 millimeters per second and this number is just expressed in some other units um, I don't think that this this would be millimeters per second 3000 millimeters per second uh, but whatever the the way this printer moved was just freaky fast and I'm, I'm really pleased with not only how fast it can move but also with the quality of the print that it produced moving so fast so I'm happy anyway but uh, for all you smart guys out there who are more familiar with this um, if you know what uh, what unit this number is in what speed this is um, I'd be happy if you could comment on this and and let me know and other feeds that I see here is uh, z-axis movement is at 21,000 feed rate that's when the printer was reaching its its uh, uh, final layer and then the first movement to the beginning position of the print was also 21,000 um, same for the print head actually lowering right to the, to its initial position 2100 um, then 1800 for the extruder and then at that point the feed rate was set to 3581 and that's how it continued printing last layer so for those of you who watched the printing movie to the, to the end um, when the the print head was moving really fast that was this number multiplied by three because I was printing at that point at 300 percent so if anyone knows what these numbers are let me know thanks see you later